Amen. If we'd all stand. Praise the Lord. It's always great to be in the house of God. Amen. We come here for one purpose and one purpose only. And that's to hear from Him. Amen. What an hour we live in. We're sons and daughters of God created by Him for this very moment. Amen. And we should be excited about that. Amen. We should be so excited to come into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because we know we shall hear from Him. Amen. 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 We'll just bow our hearts. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. We'll always ask Him to come. Amen. Amen. Because that's why we're here. Amen. Amen. We'll turn to Brother Paul. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we count it a privilege and an honor, Lord, that God, that You chose us, that You could come down amongst us, Lord, and Lord God, that you would feed us the very things we have need of for this hour, Lord. Amen. Knowing, Lord Jesus Christ, that there's things that's been hidden in your word and in your message. Father God, that this is the hour of manifestation, Lord Jesus. This is the hour of revelation, Lord. Father, and I pray that our hearts, our minds, our souls, our spirit, Lord, would be found in the right position to receive it all. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen.
know, I tell you what, I told somebody, I said, you know, when I was young, uh, a new body didn't mean that much, but uh, you start getting where you wake up in the morning, the first five minutes you got to spend trying to get the kinks out of your back so you can stand up and get around to get to work, you know, you start realizing what a precious promise that is <laughs> to have a new body that doesn't have no aches and pains. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to sing this little song on 116. And every time I sing this song, I think of Sister Madeline. And you know, I miss Sister Madeline. But oh, I can promise you she's having a time tonight. Amen. <laughs> but we're floating down the stream of time. Amen. <laughs>
glad. You know, you think about this, just a fraction of the Earth's population even can hear the pole. They can even feel the pole or hear the voice of God calling them. So if you're among that few that's heard his voice and then said, Lord, here I am, what a blessed group of people we are tonight. Amen. I want to have the brethren come tonight. We'll take up the offering. Does anybody have any requests they'd like to make mention of tonight?
Let's sing only believe as we bring Brother Redmond up. Only believe. Only believe. All things are possible. Only believe. Only Three gathered his name, 
That's where it'd be in the midst. Hallelujah. I said there were more than two or three in the back room. There were four of us. Amen. 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 And I believe one time there were three in the furnace for Amen. fire. Right. And the fourth came. Yes, Amen. 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 Glory to God. So there are more than three or four people here that God can come down and change Amen. the whole scenery here. Amen. Such love. Amen. Such love of God in our heart. Amen. That can change the whole scenery. Amen. There's a song that said that God should love a sinner said as I should yearn to change my sorrow into bliss. Amen. No rest till he has been to bring me back. How wonderful is love like this. Such love, such love. Such wondrous love, such love. Such wondrous love that God should
see yourself singing that song? Hey, hey man, hallelujah. I can see myself singing and giving him praise. I recognize what he has done for me. Amen. Amen. Like, you know, Paul was saying when he woke up in the morning, and he said, man, that body is aching. And then you see that you can put your feet down you know, from your bed. You can stand, you can walk. You can say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because not many people can stand from the bed and walk. Right. Because sometimes you know when you are so down and out, you try to walk, you find out you cannot even walk. Right. And you know it's God that can do this. Amen. This body that's standing here is not the body that's standing here. There's something in this body that hey. the body standing here. Come on. Hey. That is the spirit that gives life. Hallelujah. Without the spirit is a dead corpse. Amen. So we thank God for the spirit of God that's in your body. Amen. 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 Because without, without the spirit, you are a dead corpse. Amen. Amen. So we thank God that we can wake up in the morning. That we can put our feet down, we can jump, we can say, Praise be to God. Amen. I'm alive and well, and I'm giving Amen. praise to Jesus. Amen. 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 First question of the 13, verse 9. Let's open our Bible. Let's read a couple of scriptures here and let's see what God has for us. Amen. 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 We are so excited this morning. I was going to enter into the word. You know, Deuteronomy chapter 39, is that right? Verse 39. Yeah. 39, 39, is that right? You know. What's been hidden is for God, what's been revealed to us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for that. Amen. 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 We thank God now. We're into Matthew 11 25 now. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. That, like uh, Paul read the rest of the story, <laughs> Lotion 10 7 came and finished all the mysteries. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Glory to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask you to come in special way tonight. Can you help me to get out of the way so you can come and speak to your wife, Lord, as I take every spirit under my control for the glory of God, Lord. I'm just a man, Lord. But if you can come and speak to your wife, Lord, they will be happy. They will be healed. They will receive, Lord, their portion, Lord, that will be allocated for them from heaven before the foundation of the world. Lord, I ask you, Lord, may you help me, Lord Jesus, so I can just do that. You only give me one gift. Which is to get myself out of the way so you can come and speak to your wife, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. It goes like this. First point chapter 13, verse 9. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that is which is perfect is come, where when I explain that verse in question and answers, he said, He has come. When the 1963, when the full word has come, he said that verse was filled, fulfilled. He said, when that Jesus' perfect is come, then what is in part shall be done away. So therefore, what is perfect already came. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if he was still waiting for it, but he said it already came. Right. He said, now, when I was a child, and I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I stood as a child, but uh, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. Praise God. For we know we see things through a glass darkly. But then, face to face, now I know in part. But then shall I know, even as I also have known. And now, abide faith, hope, charity, Amen. these three. But the greatest of these is charity. Amen. Charity is love. Amen. Amen. Not hu human love, Come on. but a God's love. Amen. Let's go to Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. To finish, we go like this. Matthew 11. 25. See, at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has, listen to this now, and has we build them unto babes. May the eyes bless me <laughs> to you as we read these scriptures this evening. You may be seated. Praise God. We thank God that He has chosen the prophet in this last day. <laughs> Luke 17 30. Amen. Amen. Luke 10 7. Praise God. Malachi 4 5. Praise God. That has come in our day. 
Amen. that have revealed, amen, the cells that have revealed, amen, the word of God for our day. We know who we are. Amen. 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 There's no questions about who we are tonight. Amen. amen. There's no doubt about what we're looking for. Amen. We have no question trying to figure out the Bible. We have one that already came. He figured out the Bible for us. Amen. Amen. So we, have, we don't have to worry about what we need to look for. I remember when I read the book of Daniel, he said, in the, in the last day, you'll get the understanding. Amen. 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 He said, in the last day, you'll understand it. And when I read the book of Daniel, but when Brother Brown came, you know what he said? In, in the paradox, 1965, let me read it for you. But when I said, but now, but now, in the last day, we are giving the understanding. Amen. 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 Daniel said, we're going to get the understanding. But when I come now, in paradox, 1965, he said, but now in the last day, this is the last day. He said, we are giving the understanding by the word that we are going to understand it. We are giving the understanding by the word that we are going to understand it. Amen. So there's no even but. There's no like waiting to for no. The word is it. That's what I'm saying. Where should we get the thunders? He said the thunders are in the word. They are back. He said, he said, well, is that something you're gonna get somewhere? He said, yeah. He said, they are back in the back side of the Bible. He said, you have to be put it in the Bible. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So he said, you, he said, if you don't do it like this, you'll be adding in the Bible. Right. So that's been, he has, he, he has to take a prophet to humility. Amen. Amen. Right. Let me read it to you. He said, no, he said, by the word, we are going to understand it because it will come in Ephesians age to it. Amen. Amen. Right. It will come in Ephesians age to it. What does that mean? In the Asian age to it. What was it? After Moses came Joshua. Right. Amen. It will come an age where people need to know the word. Corinthian, you got all the things going on, but Ephesians, but the Bible said they didn't need all that buha chaos. They know who they are. Amen. Come on, man. They know where they stand. Right. Praise God. Amen. They know they were sons of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. They know they were adopted. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. They know it's a sir. Is it the time of the manifestation of the Son of God? Yes, sir. Amen. It is the time. Amen. Praise God. The word is here. Come on. Praise yeah. God. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Praise God. It's the what is the manifestation of the, of the, of the Holy Spirit? He said, it is that angel. He said that angel is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is the anointing. Amen. When we see the anointing is moving here, the Holy Spirit is moving here, the angel is in the room. Amen. God has come down. Amen. He said right here, and we are here. Now, paradox. He said, now we are here. Well, I said, now we are here, 1965. We're not waiting for it. No, no. Yeah. Amen. January, I'm waiting January 1965. He died December 1965. He said, now we are here. Right. Some people are waiting for it. He said, now we are here. Now, paradox, I leave that hand. He said, I leave that hand. Man. So, in other words, he stopped right there. He let you fight for it. Amen. Go wait for it. <laughs> Go talk about it. Go so say he's still waiting, he's still coming. He said, I leave that hand. But those that don't understand it, we understand. Amen. Amen. Because he got the understanding by the word, Amen. he knows what, who they are. Amen. Praise God. He said, I leave that hand because I just got about 10 more minutes, they will have the prayer line. He said, there is some people of today who do not believe in miracles. They say they just can't believe that there is such a thing as miracles. In this modern age. Well, I don't mean to say anything about about that person, but they are spiritually numb. Right. Amen. They are spiritually blind. Right. They have no spiritually, they, they have no spiritual, no spiritual sight or spiritual feeling at all. 
Because no man can sit in a crowd of people where in the Holy Spirit is falling. Amen. No matter if he's absolutely a sinner or she, but what they are bound to sense the presence of God, when you see the word, he promised. Not all kind of word, the word that he promised being fulfilled. See, what happened is people are not paying attention. They're not alert about the word promise. If you go to a Baptist or Pentecostal to a Nazarene church, they're all about the word. Yeah. But they're not about the word promise. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. If you're a message believer, you're supposed to be worried, alert about what word? The word promise. Amen. Amen. That's right. He said right here. See, word being fulfilled, the word he promised being fulfilled then you would have to be numb when you see it with your own eyes happening, then you have to be blind spiritually. I'm not speaking physically, but you can suddenly be spiritually blind and, and have 20, 20 physically That's right. sight. Amen. Right. That's what the prophet of God says. Amen. So you have people that say, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't have a problem. I can, everything's fine with me. But spiritually, they are blind Amen. to what's happening in their day. Amen. Amen. And that's what we're talking about. They worry about this, they worry about that. They don't pay attention to what's happening right now in our day. Amen. What God is doing right now in our day. God promised it will restore a church, a true church, with signs and wonders and prophecy and vision Amen. with the full restoration of the word Amen. and full restoration of his glory yep. and we'll have a guide who'll show you all this thing when the word is vindicated Amen. right in front of you people are seeing this right in front of them they don't care about it that's when you don't pay attention of, of the promise being fulfilled in front of you People say, oh, why do we believe in seven thunders, seven men, seven nonsense? Did you ever ask me what I believe? I'm going to tell you what I believe tonight. So get off my back. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Because I got a big back. So many people can get on my back. So I'm telling you right now, get off my back. Here's what I believe. Amen. Amen. See is not her with the shock. That's why I stay. Amen. Amen. Right. Because you hear what I've been preaching seven thunders, you never come ask me where I stand up on the seven thunders. I'm going to tell you where I stand tonight, right here. Amen. Once and for all. Amen. I don't believe in the seven men. I mean, what I'm saying the seven thunders were. The mystery, the loose end, Amen. that he came and revealed all of the loose end. Amen. Amen. I believe in one prophet, Amen. William Brown. Amen. Amen. Now, listen. What he said. That's what connect me and Brother Earl. If you want to know what connect me and Brother Earl, there it is. Amen. It's not money. It's not friendship. It's not this and that. It's the message. Amen. And Amen. I'm giving you the quote today. Amen. If you can catch the revelation, Amen. if you're not blind spiritually, you get it tonight. Amen. This is what Brother Brother said. He said, notice, and in the Pentecostal age, to Lutheran age, to Western age is being the same thing to this Pentecostal age. Right. Now notice, but at the opening of the seven seals. Right. Right. Yep. At the opening of the seven seals, Revelation 10, the full word is to be born. Amen. 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 The full word is to be who is to be born? The full word. Amen. When? At the opening of the seventh seal. That's right. Seven cost meal, my brother. Amen. Not one cost meal. Seven cost meal. Amen. So that means you have to eat all the seven cost meal. Yes, Amen. Amen. People try to give you one cost meal and try to feed you one. No. You have to eat all the seven cost meal. Now, at the opening of the seven seals, the full word is to be born. Listen to this. Into 
manifestation again. Did you hear the word again? Yes, Anybody Amen. heard the word again? Amen. Into manifestation again. Amen. What does that mean? When you, when you hear the word again, that means it happened before. Amen. So now you need to go find out what happened before. Yes, Get my back. Amen. Go find out what happened before. Yes, when you go find out what happened before, you're going to find out the book of Acts. Now, when you go find out in the book of Acts, you go find out to Paul, you go find Peter, they had the word, and they had the manifestation right. at that time. That's right. Right. Yes, they did. So that means you better have your church be like them. Amen. Right. Ananias and Sapphira was in Peter's church, is that right? That's right. Yeah. So that means if you have the word in your church today, the full restoration, your church would be like Peter's church. And then, because you wish to win a realm, your church could preach the second seal also. Amen. Am I right? Yes, right. Because your church is still with a realm that come and reveal the seven seals. That's right. People are talking about Brother Edmund, this Brother Edmund's that. They don't even know the word. That's what I tell them all the time. You don't even know the word. You can't even handle the word. Right. He's trying to talk to me. Who do you think you are? You think I'm a fly by night minister? You think I just come walking behind the pulpit? Come on, brother. Come on. I went to Glen Perry in 1999 and preached for him. Sir, this is the time of the manifestation of the Son of Man, the Son of God. After I preached, preaching, preaching for him, he said, Brother Man, huh, I see that you are preaching the thunders. I remember Brother Coleman. I said, Well, I've been to the church. But I'm not one of his disciples. He said, let me ask you this. He said, what about the unknown names? Do you know what it means if you're preaching the thunders? I said, no, I don't know what that means. He said, huh. He said, I know what that means because Brother Branham told me what that means. I said, is that right? Brother Branham told you what that means? I said, well, Brother. I mean, one thing I'm going to tell you, if one of them told you what those unknown names were, that's good. But it's good for you. Amen. He looked at me. He said, why? I said, because one of them's message is for the bride. Amen. Everything that the bride needs is in the message. Amen. Amen. The anointing is in the message. Amen. So that's when the unknown names that he told you, that's for you. Amen. For your personal faith, is not for the bride. People think I'm a fly by night guy. See, I keep myself humble. Amen. But don't push me. Because I'm close, my friends, to get you to blow you up. I know where I stand. Amen. Man. I spend my time, you know, studying this message. I, I spend my time knowing what I believe in. Why do you think I'm, 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 why I'm coming here spending all that money to stay on the earth? For what reason? Because I know he's an elder in the message. I give him the respect that he needs. Amen. So when somebody's talking to him about the gift, I can tell you, well, I know about the gift. I sat down with a man that had the gift operating in his church Amen. for many years. Amen. I can tell you about the gift. Yes. The good and the bad. Amen. Because I pay my dues. Amen. I don't just talk about the gift. I know about the gift because I pay my dues. Where were you for 11 years We Brother Earl? I didn't see you, but I was next to him. Man. That's what I'm doing here. People say, what are you doing here? That's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm in school. I'm learning from an elder. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. When I was with Brother John, I was learning from an elder. I know how to get the church started. That's why we have many churches in Haiti. I know how to get, to get the church started. Has to establish young men. People don't think, oh, but let me just walking in. Somebody told me, oh, you just walking in like one of those, you'll be walking out too. I said, come on, <laughs> you don't know who Brother Edmund is. Amen. Amen. 
That's what connect me here. Right here. Right here. Knowing your message. See, the full word is to be born into manifestation again. Listen to this. Vindicated Amen. by the Spirit of God. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. Is that what's happening here? Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Yes. In the full strength as it was when it was here on earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Manifested in the same way, doing the same thing that he did when he was here on earth. Amen. 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 That's what Brother William says. He said, Hebrew 13 8 said, Jesus Christ is in yesterday, today, and forever. In St. Luke 17 30, Jesus said, In the last day, as it was in the day of Sodom, when the Son of Man will be revealing himself, it will be the same thing. The world, the world is in a Sodom condition, and the church has went into Sodom with it, like Lot and his wife. And I say, there is an elected church somewhere in this world that will pull it out and set aside from those things, and the manifestation of God has attracted his attention of that church. We are at the last day. The shock has given forth his strength into the sea. Amen. Did you hear that? Amen. The shock has given his strength into the sea. He said, now, he went, out, he went all out. He was a good shock. He was a good shock. Now, who's the shock? Are you getting the revelation? Who's the shock? The Pentecostal. Who's the shock? Are you getting this? He said, but he served his time. See, it is the word right of the word who. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. That's where we at. Amen. John 14, 12. He that believe in me, the works that I do, Amen. shall you do also. Amen. That's what we are, church. We're not here playing games. Amen. We know who we are. Amen. We know what who God has said in this day. Yes, sir. He gave us the full understanding. If I need to know anything, I listen to the text. Amen. If I don't get it at one sitting, I will get it another time. Amen. Because why? The prophet got it. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. How many times we were listening about the gift? We never got it. Until Brother Earl came and, and told us several things. Amen. And we caught it. Amen. Why? Because that was the time. That's right. That's right. People do not understand. There has to be a time for you to get it. It's spiritual food and to season. Right. But I said, when you need it, you'll get it. That's right. That's right. You don't have to worry yourself. That's right. You'll get the understanding. Yes, you'll understand it yes, sir. when the time comes. We don't have to fight. We don't have to speculate. We don't have to figure out what here and there. No, we'll get it. People worry. People worry about things. Just say what Brother Wenham says. Believe what Brother Wenham said. That's what Brother told us to do. And everything's going to be fine. Because why? All those mysteries, they're there for what? To give us faith. Brother said, the unwitting is in the world. He said, the unwitting is that angel. And God will come down, what? To vindicate the word. We had a marvelous service in Boston. The Holy Spirit came down in service today. In Boston. And what the Holy Spirit came down? He said, call Jojo in the phone. The Holy Spirit called my brother in the phone. He said, I see what you're doing down there. You are waking up early. You're helping. Uh, he said, I'll come in before that. Amen. He, said, he said, for I'll come in before the work that you're doing in Arkansas. Praise be to God. That's right. That's good, man. I'm telling you, church, this is what we have in our midst. Amen. The church spent two hours, the Holy Spirit dealing, two, two vessels dealing with the Holy Ghost moving in the church. Calling people out, calling sin out, calling people out. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's what we have going on. Yes. Vindication. The word being confirmed. Yes. The word being even preach. There's no preaching. Praise be to God. 
Why? Because God has come down. Amen. There was a time we used to preach two hours, three hours. Not anymore. Now the Holy Spirit take over the church. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Holy Spirit, that's what leading the church now. Amen. That's that's why I'm here. I'm here because when the Earl came, he was telling us that. Yes, sir. He was telling us, you know what? This is what supposed to be happening in our day. And I was like, man, I never heard this thing before. I, mean, I never seen this thing before. Yeah. But I believe it. Amen. Because I preached this in word form. Yes, sir. Yes. But when Brother Earl came. Now I connect his experience to the word. Now this is happening in my church. Amen. This is no longer a word from no more. Amen. No, it's happening. Amen. So somebody said, Brother, why are you here? I'm here because I see the manifestation Amen. of the testimonies of what Brother Earl gave. Amen. I see the love. Amen. I see the love that he has for this message Amen. and for those testimonies. He He's, he came tired. He could have just stayed and retired and relaxed. But he said, you know what? I'm coming anyway. Amen. Just to support a group of people that believe Amen. in this message. Amen. Why? Because the prophet ordained me to Google the highways and, and, uh, and hedges to compel them to come. Amen. He said, I'm going to fulfill what the prophet ordained me to do. And he said, because I'm going to do this, I know I'm in the perfect will of God. Amen. I remember Lisa drove Brother Earl through a big storm. And I was afraid. I said, man, how's that thing going to happen? They're going to drive, they're going to be driving after that, that storm. But you know what? They were in the perfect will of God. Amen. Nothing happened to them. Right. When you're in the perfect will of God, nothing will happen to you. Right. Church, that's what, that's what I'm here. We said we were going to do a camp. That can be discussing of headache, money, things, but you know what? It's not all right. Because like I told you, we are the perfect will of God and what we're gonna do. Yeah. Because if if one person here, one kid here, can turn around and see the vision, that would be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Worth it all. That would be a blessing. Amen. At least one kid Amen. can say, you know what? We 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 like the like the Boston Church cut the revelation. One kid can say, you know what? I see the importance Amen. of what they're trying to do here. Amen. Or somebody on the street Amen. might come here and say, you know what? I didn't know God has come down. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I didn't know that God has come down. Yeah. You don't tell me, I've been here for all long days, a church right here, that God has come down, that's been built up on death, said the Lord. If, if we can come down in Boston and then do that for one person, that's, that's something. Amen. That's what we're here tonight. That's why we're here, just to be a blessing. Amen. Just to be a blessing. We're not here to show off. We're not here to, no, we're here just to be a blessing. Amen. Just to say, you know what? You know, to share with you what Brother Earl has given us. Yes, sir. To let you share, to let you know, here's what he, here's, here's what he has given us. We're going we're gonna to share with you. He's what he has given us for the past 10, 11 years. He's been going up in Boston. Yes. So we're going to tell you in return. He's what he has been giving us. You know, sometimes you plant a tree. You put the seed in the ground. For you that's planting, you know, you wait for a long time to get some harvest, to get something back. But, you know, it's good when that, that seed grow up and the tree come up, come up and you got some fruit Amen. from that tree. You feel good. Amen. Don't you feel good? To see that brother Earl for 11 years been going to Boston. Now if it, there's a bunch of people from Boston that can come down here. That can sing a few songs. Amen. That the Holy Spirit can use. Amen. And, uh, and, and brother Earl can feel like, man, my work, they were not in vain. Amen. They were not in vain. That all that 11 years I've been going up in Boston. And God really has used me to, to help those people. Well, that's why I'm here to tell you. Good. It was not in vain. Amen. I'm one of the product. Amen. I'm one of the product. And I try my best, but I can tell you, I try my best to invite, 
many pastors from Africa, from Jamaica, from Haiti. I brought my son that I raised from the gospel, from Haiti. I never told Brother El that. But Brother Dan was talking to me the other day, and he was talking to me about him. Because me and Brother Dan, we have them, done some work with him, missionary work. He was asking me, how oh, how's Brother Saka doing? I was say, oh, well, this guy, you know, he's in Florida and stuff like that. I brought him here. He met Brother Earl. But when he came here, he was blind. Yes, sir. You know what he saw? When he came here, he told me, man, I saw an old man in a big church, and there's no, he has nobody with him. What are you doing out there with him? Wow. You hear that? Yeah. That's what, That's what he saw. That's what he saw. He saw an old man in an empty church. He has nobody with him in a big church. He said, what are you doing out there with him? That's what he saw. He never came back again. That was like six, seven years ago. And I raised him up in the message. I, I baptized him. Me and Brother Bell, we baptized him, his father, and the whole church in the 80s. That hurt me. That hurt me. Because I thought, when I got in here, I thought he was going to cash this thing. He was going to go back to Haiti, bring it to the people, you know, get the fire going. No, he never got it. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. When you see somebody catch the inspiration, you guys are supposed to be happy. Amen. 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 To, see, to see what your pastor has done. Amen. To see a man in his age has worked so hard. Yes. But you know that? He worked to inspiration. Amen. Did anybody remember the Holy Spirit spoke about a cake? And there's a branch from that cake. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, anybody remember that? Yeah. Now you see what I'm talking about? Amen. When you when you work through inspiration, you have nothing to worry. God hey. is in your midst. Amen. And do you know the man that was there in that cake, what a George was buried? He's the one that baptized my father. You didn't know that? Lord. You didn't know that, huh? No. He baptized my father in 1992. Praise God. Now, you tell me where that connection comes from. Is it coincidence? Or oh, God was in it? Amen. May God bless you tonight. Amen.
and that's when they used to put the wheel and spokes in it, and the whole wheel, the rubber and everything was on one big wheel. And he got too much to drink one night, and he was coming in, and all at once he told my mother, he said, you know something? He said, I'm driving along, he's on a dirt road now, and ruts and bad road and gumbo. He said, I was driving along and they was a real good looking wheel run right up the side of me. <laughs> and I just got out of the gut. It was just really a good looking wheel. It was his own wheel. It was his own wheel. And he said, I'll show you in the morning. What come and run, run, run up the side of me, come off of his rig and run, run up the side of me. So you know something? You just keep hanging around and if you hadn't got on the wheel yet, all at once, you get on the wheel and you say, well, I don't know which way it's going to whirl me, but I'm on the wheel. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Well, we're thankful for you that's here tonight and we got some that's missing because they're sick, but we're Praying and trusting and believing. If you need prayer, we'll pray for you. And you know, I like to see people take a hold until they don't they don't have to be prayed for. Amen. Amen. Every day. Amen. When are you gonna believe it? 